title is Reporting Verbs in Literature Review Chapter of TESOL Master's Thesis Written by Vietnamese postgraduate uh, This article is from Nguyen T. Tui Luan From Kalasin University, Thailand uh, This research uh, based on the background of the study, this research uh, <coughs> states that citing other works in academic writing is uh, mostly is really important to use in the academic writing, especially this article analyzed in the literature review of the thesis MA thesis. Are faced as one of the explicit way when citing other works in academic writing. Uh, this, this is the how the writers of the research uh, use the artists to integrate their ideas from the previous cited theories or research. Next, based on the complexity of artists in academic writing. So there are some categories of RVs in showing activity and also evaluation. The significant, uh, this, these are <coughs> categories. This is from Highland categories of reporting verbs in showing activity and evaluation. Highlands uh, divided into three uh, research act, cognition act, and discourse act. In the research act, Highland uh, divided into findings and procedure. When the findings uh, there are factive, counter, counterfactive, and non-factive. Well, in the cognition acts, there are positive, critical, tentative, and neutral. And also there are uh, there is a categories in discourse acts. There are just in depth, there are tentative reporting verbs and critical <coughs> critical. In the assurance, there are factive and non-factive, and the last is counters. While the Thompson categorizes the RVs based on three process of the writer use the RVs. The first is textual, textual verbs, and then the second is mental verbs, and the third is Research firms. And the aim of the study of the study in the article is uh, to explore the RVs were deployed, denotative and evaluative, and also the potential of uh, the NNEW writers. To use the exp uh, to use the RVs and in the forms and also the tense and voice. <coughs> the, the study also uh, have a significance to expand the literature of how RVs are are used by the and This study, uh, the method of the study, the data were collected from the twenty four electron electronic vessel. And add passes written during the 2009 and also 2012 period by Vietnamese students. Uh, it's specialized to analyze the literature literature review in the in the thesis in the Tesol MA thesis. And uh, this study analyzed the data by using the classification of RV by Highland 2002 based on the research, cognition, and discourse acts and then also the factive, counterfactive, and non-factive The findings and discussion are distributed into the denotative process or process categories evaluative categories, verb forms, and also tense and voice <coughs> in, the in the denotative process or categories uh, this research found that the discourse acts are the most frequently used in the MA thesis of Vietnamese <coughs> with the presentation 
62.9%. And then, well, in the evaluative categories, uh, before that discourse X is the most used, in the discourse X, the, the, res the researchers found that the, the students of in the in the test is the student use assurance and uh, equally use factive and non-factive in the discourse X. <coughs> the research X is the second that mostly used and found that findings is used for the non-factive. While in the cognition X, the students is uh, elaborate their idea and integrate their idea to the RPs by using the tenta. This one is the example in the findings that suggests shows the discourse about the tentative. <coughs> These are the first forms that uh, found in the analysis. Analyze analysis. <coughs> These, these are the most, the, mo the most verbs that the student use. They define, suggest, claim, uh, and find also the other. And this is, this, these are the some of the verbs that use. Uh, and in the tenses and voice, the researchers found that the Active voice is mostly used in the tense in the voice of the LR chapters, but they are combined the present simple and the past simple. It shows that they they are most almost equal. So they are combined the present simple and the past simple in the active voice form to the in the in the LR chapters of the students. So, here are the conclusion in the in this article. Uh, this article found that the discourse acts were the most prominent, followed by the research acts and cognition acts. And in the evaluation potential of RPs, non-factive RPs were mostly found. And then the writers, uh, the the researcher found that the writers, the students. Write, uh, write in the in their thesis that they are avoid of refuting and criticizing previous research, and also the last one they are almost equal, equal, equal use present and past simple tense in the active voice form in this in the in their uh, LR chapters. I think that's <coughs> for me.